Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. I'm very excited to be doing a wing pour tonight. Uh, the My Art Lab collab, which I believe is the 26th of this month, whatever the last Saturday is, um, the challenge I set the group is to do uh, either a wing or a water, waterfall pour, both of which uh, are done on uh, a canvas that is raised on one side. You pour from this direction and let the paints flow down. Um, I like to do my wing pours with a split cup um, so that I can put the negative space color in the middle to create um, this, the, the space between the wings. And I like my negative space to match uh, on the inside and the outside. So I achieve that by using a split cup. Um, and I have some fun colors. I've been watching uh, Molly from Molly's Artistry and Mark Radcliffe and lots of other artists using Amsterdam pearls, and I haven't used them in a long time. So I've got three of them mixed up, uh, and I've labeled my cups because at the moment, they just look like a creamy white color. So this is Amsterdam pearl violet. I have Amsterdam pearl green, and I have Amsterdam pearl blue. And I've labeled the cups so I don't get them confused. Um, these pearl colors um, work best when partnered with a dark color. So I have mixed up some Chromacryl acrylic uh, essentials in black. Um, and I'm not sure you're gonna be able to see this consistency. It does definitely leaves a mound on a mound. This is a very thick consistency. And maybe we'll try the pearl and see if you can see it that way. Um, yeah, so you want this thick consistency because as it comes out, um, Let's see how I can explain this. So uh, as I'm pouring the cup, uh, pouring the paints out of the split cup, I'll be jiggling it back and forth like this. And I want the paints to be thick enough that they create that little fold because those folds become the feathers in the wings. If it's too thin, uh, you don't get as many folds in, in, in those feathers. So um, a thick consistency is really important. But I have mixed up the same black base coat um, and thinned it down quite a bit because the base coat's purpose is to let these other paints slide around. So it does not have to be the same consistency. It can be a little bit thinner. Um, and uh, I'm gonna explain a few things now because once I start painting, I always forget to talk and explain what I'm doing. So I'm gonna try and give you a couple of tips before I start. And then I'll, uh, when I'm doing my wet results, if I missed anything, I will mention it then. Um, so. One of the uh, tricks to, to this pour, whether you're doing a wing pour or waterfall pour, is, your is to give yourself a, a complete base coat, cover all of your sides and edges, um, and make sure that it leaves a, uh, a smooth, glassy surface. You don't want any ripples or lumps um, because it will affect the way that the, the paint moves on the canvas. If there's a, a big lumpy area right here, if you spread it with your spatula and you don't tilt it out, then um, it sh could shift the paints as they move. We want a smooth flow down the canvas. Also, it's really important to hold, I like to stand behind the canvas and pour from this direction and get really close to the canvas. The further away from the canvas uh, uh, that you pour, the thinner your feather wings, uh, the feathers will be on the wings, the closer, the, the wider the feathers will be. Um, also, it's really important not to tilt your split cup in either direction because that then the paint will come out faster in one of these chambers and one of your wings will be larger than the other. So I will hold it with both hands as I'm doing it so that I can keep it uh, as even as possible or as centered as possible. Um, and then when it comes time, once uh, I've done the pour and it has traveled down the canvas, I will remove the cup from here, um, shift the, most of the weight of the paint will be down towards the front. So I'll pull it back a little bit so it's closer to the center. And the key to a wing pour is not to tilt towards the corners, but to tilt towards the sides and the front and back or top and bottom. So uh, it's really important then for your base coat, especially to be covering these corners because we're not gonna tilt much in that direction. We may tilt a little bit like this just to uh, adjust the composition on the wings, but we're not trying to go over these corners. We're trying to uh, pull it out this direction and stretch this direction. So, um, yeah, I think those are the majority of my tips. If I think of something else, I will mention it 
uh, when I do the wet results. So I'm excited to get started and let's do that.
right, so here are our wing pours done with Amsterdam pearl colors. I think this is gonna be really cool when it dries. Might even look like fairy wings or kind of, it's kind of peacock colors too, isn't it? I'm really interested to see how this dries. Um, so I did forget to uh, layer my split cup first so I could talk to you through that. So I, um, these pearl paints need a dark background in order to show their uh, true colors. So I layered a little bit of black in between each of the colors to keep them a little bit separate, but also to give them some color to play against. Um, the violet, we can already see that the violet is on the outside, the blue, and then it transitions into the green. Um, I also um, wanted to point out how I was tilting it. Rather than just going in a straight in a direction, I was walking it back and forth. And every time, every time I changed directions, I would walk it that direction rather than just going straight in one direction. Um, I really think this is going to be cool. I, I love that just the tips of these little feathers right here came off. I did try to use the weight of the paint to bring this up forward a little more. For some reason it was stubborn. It didn't want to go, it didn't want to stretch like the other one did, but um, that's all right. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. I've got a lot more of the uh, feathery folds on this side. I think that's gorgeous. Really, really nice. I love these little bits of feathers that are coming off on the left side of that too. And then, um, look at these lines. Oh, this might be super cool when it dries. Yay. Um, yeah. And then on this side, I've got lots of the little feathers here, but then it kind of, uh, it didn't fold the same on the inside here. So it's more of a straight edge, but it still looks like feathers on the inside. So that's okay. I just mixed these paints, so there's a lot of bubbles. I didn't pop them until the very end because I didn't want those to get larger. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with that. Sorry about the glare. The black is so reflective. <laughs> and just, uh, um, I've moved my ring light off to the side. You can kind of see its glow over here um, so that I minimize that. But yeah, okay, so let's see how this dries. So here we have the dry result of my pearl wings. I think this is super cool. <laughs> I, I'm not sure about, I don't think I would hang this in my house. It doesn't go with anything. So it's not really my style, but I think somebody would like this. I think this is super cool. So let me take you in for some details. I love the reflectiveness of these pearl paints. I love how we got some stripes of really soft color, and then where it blended with the black, that purple really came out. And then it gets lighter again here, and then where it blended with the black, it got darker. I think that's really beautiful. The wing tip here is, spec I, I really love, especially this one on the left, I think is a gorgeous wing. Look at those fine little lines in there. Oh, so pretty. Sorry about the glare. Black is so reflective. But yeah, down here in the green area, this is beautiful too. In this area up here, I love how it, fe it feathers together in this area. That's really pretty. Kind of layer on layer. Really nice. Yeah, I think this is really fun. So I hope you learned a few things. I hope you're inspired to uh, give a wing pour a try. And come check out Nate's Art Lab on the 23rd of September. Um, I will be posting on my community tab the entire playlist of everybody in the collab. Um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I'm uh, doing, instead of a wing pour for the collab, I'm actually doing two versions of a uh, waterfall pour. So you get a twofer for mine. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And go mix some paints and be fearless.